to find another way to get my money. Maybe a tell-all book. How one adorkable principal saved America from three bionic freaks. Look, I'll get you your hush money, but first we need a place to live. And then we have to find Adam, Bree, and Chase. Who? The freaks. Oh. So you're telling me the sooner you find a place, the sooner I get my money. That's right, TP. You help us out, we help you out. You wash our back, we... Oh. <laughs> I'm in. You can stay at my place. As long as you don't mind sharing the john with eight cats and the occasional semi-pro bowler. What if we stay at the school temporarily? Like when you set up the shelter for people after the big storm last year. Oh, so that's why everyone was banging on the door trying to get in. <laughs> All right, you can stay at the school. Oh, good. Well, uh, you want to help us with our bags? My pleasure. <laughs> We're never going to see those bags again, are we? Okay, we're all clear. The crew just wants to eat. If it's veal shank, I'm giving us up. Adam! So what's our plan? Well... As soon as we get wherever we're going, I guess we just blend in and live normal lives. Wait, so does this mean we're done with missions forever? We have to be. Using bionics will only get us caught. Man, if I'm not mission leader anymore, then I don't know who I am. Hey, don't worry, Chase. You'll have plenty of girlfriend less years ahead of you to figure it out. <laughs> Yeah? And what are you gonna do besides move pianos and mouth kiss every dog you see? What? You can't shake their paws. Those things are filthy. We're just gonna have to learn to live like regular people. Kind of sad, isn't it? If by sad you mean awesome, I finally get to move far away from you two, then yes, tragic. You can move wherever you want. We're still gonna have to spend the rest of our lives looking over our shoulders. Don't be ridiculous, Chase. They can attack us from the front, too. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I got a bite. Oh, she's a fighter. Adam, what are you doing? Deep sea fishing. Come on, fishing, baby, come today. They're coming, hide! Poor bugger must have jumped right on board. <laughs> well, I can't have a fish stinking up my ship. <laughs> Be free! <laughs> Here you go, three cuts. Ah, this takes me back to the good old days in the prison infirmary. You were a nurse? No, I was in prison. <laughs> okay, you kids settle in. I'm gonna go try and find some less crusty blankets. Is there some place we can store our things? Sure. You can take the gym locker next to mine. You might want to wear slip-ons in the shower. I got something in between my toes that just won't quit. This was better than my mother's? Yes. Good news, Big D. I got some of this stuff from the computer lab. Maybe you can use it to track Adam Brian Chase's last GPS location. Or, judging by its age, the last location of King Tut. <laughs> Sorry, Leo, I'm just frustrated. Without my stuff, without my lab, this is hopeless. Come on, Big D. You're a tech titan. You built an empire out of nothing. Yeah, but it was so hard. <laughs> but you did it. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. You're brilliant. You know what? You're right, Leo. I am handsome and brilliant. Hold on, I didn't say... I'm back! 